Hello again and welcome to our GCP Mindset channel. We'll continue with our how-to series, this time on budget development, budget control, budget negotiations, cost drivers, and how to overall plan your clinical study budget. More after the break. In case you're wondering what we mean by clinical trial budget, this is the estimated amount of money that's needed to run your clinical trial or study. As a sponsor, whether an organization, a pharma company, a single doctor or principal investigator, clinical trial budgeting is no easy game. It's rather complex as it involves distribution of resources, planning, understanding of risks and the cost drivers. This can be extremely challenging, especially if you have a great idea for an innovation but on a tight budget. Here are a few things you may want to know before you start distributing your budget. One, you'll need to know that every task will cost you money, so allocate wisely. Pay attention to key budget triggers giving special considerations where needed. Secondly, beware of the five cost drivers, that is, size of trial, number of patients you plan to recruit, across how many countries, how many sites or centers you will involve, and the study duration. Knowing all of these would help you budget more effectively. Third, underestimating any of the needed tasks may cost you more. Therefore, ensure you plan accordingly the number of sites, the time required for any given task. Four, before selecting a study country, simply due to the fact that it's cheap or low cost, you might want to reconsider. A study country where you expect lower study costs might turn out to be more expensive than expected due to corruption, unorganized systems, missing quality standards, low education, missing equipment, lacking data integrity. Therefore, keep in mind the reasons for financial issues in such countries and whether cheap will turn out to be expensive. With these in mind, it's therefore essential to take time and prepare your trial budget by thoroughly thinking all of the expenses. You can expect some activities to cost more than others, so be sure to allocate wisely. For instance, clinical monitoring alone can cost up to 70% of your trial budget. Depending on the complexity of the study, whether you have several sites globally, costs will be accrued from just traveling to the site, usually done by the CRAs or clinical monitors. These costs come for about from necessary steps of monitoring. These are site initiation visits, interim monitoring visits, and closeout visits. Depending on the study risk, sample size, and requirement for source data verification, you might be able to reduce these costs by incorporating more remote methods of monitoring, such as remote data monitoring and centralized statistical monitoring. Both will reduce your monitoring budget by 30 to 60%. The rest of the budget can be expected for typical activities such as regulatory activities and submissions to regulatory authorities, safety monitoring or vigilance, adverse events can happen anytime, also data collection if questionnaires are required, the choice of EDC, quality management, project management, this will be your main contact for the trial, ensuring timelines, quality and budget is met under control, biostatistics, and medical writing, document management and trial master file, archiving, meetings for the study team to unify the trial activities and ensure smooth study run. You can also expect overhead costs such as patient recruitment, study supplies, central lab, procedures, equipment, shipping, patient reimbursement, negotiations with the investigator fees, especially if the private clinic calls can be higher, investigator meetings, travel costs, translation of the documents, others are administrative costs such as at the trial site. When calculating your budget, you should also take in consideration unexpected fees such as protocol amendments, low recruitment rates and delays, adding new sites, changing vendors, retraining of the sites if this was not considered from the beginning and led to mistakes that caused delays, the site closing, IMP or device miscount, ETC. Therefore, it's crucial to get well-training monitors and carefully select your sites. 
Another one people tend to forget is inflation rates for multi-year clinical trials. Generally speaking, plan for a minimum of 3% inflation rate. It may sound like a lot, and it is. ICAGCP states that sponsors may transfer any or all of the sponsor's trial-related duties and functions to a CRO, but the ultimate responsibility for the quality and integrity of the trial data always resides with the sponsor. The CRO should then implement quality assurance and quality control. A lot of sponsors tend to make the mistake of not allocating their trial activities because they want to do everything themselves. Deciding which way to go about it can be tough, but sometimes you can end up spending more in the long run handling all activities separately and with freelancers. We as a CRO tend to go over the cost drivers, allocating more efforts when necessary. We also like to provide the sponsors with budget grids that show a breakdown of all the costs for transparency for the sponsor. We hope this will guide you in your budget planning. Remember, it's advisable not to underestimate the budget. Be very calculative, don't rush the budget process and expect the unexpected. See you next time. Goodbye.